The weight of the boiler as it stands as it's come back is probably around about the 25 tonne mark, so it's not exactly light. So in the initial part of picking it up off the trailer, you've got to get the balance right. I'm David Fulcherinsel and I'm the project leader for Hagley Hall. Uh, I've been involved in it in the past two years, bringing it through to the stage we're at today. And the biggest thing has been the boiler. It's always been a bit of a concern whether it was going to be ready. Today we've had the delivery back from Northern Steam. It's had quite an extensive amount of work done on it. It's got new side sheets. There's been a replacement bit on the front of the barrel and it's had a complete retube as well. The delivery of this today means we've actually got everything now to move on to complete the project. We'll have to bring the shunter in with the wagon that it, the boiler's going to live on for a little bit now. And then that'll be dropped onto there, we'll chain that down safely. And then that'll be brought round to the yard so we can continue our work on the boiler then. We've got jobs that volunteers can carry on with that will free us up on work as well. So we're on target hopefully. My name is Martin White, I've been a volunteer on the Seven Valley Railway for over 40 years uh, and my involvement with Hagley Hall goes back many decades and I've volunteered in helping restore it to traffic. Hagley Hall is a very significant locomotive for the Seven Valley Railway and back in the 1980s it was called the flagship loco of the Seven Valley. It's a locomotive that was designed in the 1920s, it was built in 1929, it's coming up to 100 years old it really is an antique, but it's an antique that is only made possible to work again by some of the very latest technology available to this sort of industry. I'm George Whitehead and I'm apprentice engineer and working on the connecting rods of Hagley Hall. The connecting rods will help move the loco so they'll take power from the driving wheel to the other three wheels and evenly distribute the power. I feel quite proud to be honest because coming to the railway most of my life so doing this it's it's something very special to me and being a part of it is just great and when it goes back out to Steve I can show people, you know, I've done that. When Hagley Hall finally steams again, it's the culmination of so many people's dreams and ideas. A lot of people are awaiting and anticipating seeing this engine again. Me, one of them, you know, I saw this when I was younger as a full working engine. It's not worked on the railway since, so it would be great to see it back again. There will be a, a tear in the eye and perhaps a choke in the throat because the, the friends of Hagley Hall, the volunteers who've worked on it, people who are members of the railway for decades and decades, have been waiting to see it work again and to see it finally move again, see that boiler producing steam and the steam driving the engine forward. I think that really will be quite an emotional thing um, and it's something that so many people have really been looking forward to. Thank you.